trading welcome back again to another key mapping video and for this video we will be key mapping firelight 84 using fly dgq1 and fly dd scorpion d1 so let's go let's start for the first key mapping we will do simple drag and drop to open first fly dg app new Drag the WASD button on the movement icon. Let's save this first. Okay, done. Confirm. Open Fly DJ app again. Edit. Drag your mouse button here at the right side of the screen. Click this. This is the sensitivity for the mouse. Adjust it to your liking. Confirm. Space for jump. This is the jump. Before crouch left mouse click is the attack or the shoot the previous button i'll put it on here the next button i'll put it on here then save this jump that's okay to key map auto run I open fly dg app edit so shift key in my, is my default auto run click this macro edit add six buttons six Make this swipe up and the swipe range is 100. Confirm. Put this in the middle of the movement icon. So do that to all of the six macro buttons. Oh, so let's save this. And make sure that the make sure that the auto run icon is near the movement icon save so let's press the shift and it will auto run so for cursor there's two behavior of cursor so I'll show you the first behavior of cursor open flight DG app edit so let's say middle mouse click Let's put this in the middle of this screen or you can put it or you can put this anywhere you want click this fly mouse click to open and this is the sensitivity of the cursor so adjust this to your liking confirm save so if I press once the middle mouse click cursor will appear and uh, and if I press again the middle mouse click cursor will disappear so let's make another behavior of cursor open fly dg app edit let's make button let's make key g i'll place it in the middle click the g fly mouse press and hold to turn on remember if you press and hold the g key cursor will appear and if you release the g key cursor will disappear so there you go for the cursor for scope there's no hold to ADS so all you can do is to tap the scope and tap again the scope to turn into heat fire or you can go to settings weapons you can enable the auto fire here or you can enable the quick ADS so quick ADS means when you press and hold the fire button or the shoot button it will automatically do scope See, but if you're like me that you want to hold to ADS or you want to press and hold the scope and when you release the scope button or the scope key you will turn into hip fire so to do that let's key map that open play DG app edit this is our scope so let's click scope make this click instant confirm put this on the scope button or the scope icon and let's make another right click right mouse click open this and click by release confirm and put this on the scope icon so save whenever you press and hold the scope button so press and hold it will do scope so if you release this scope button, you, it will you will turn into heat fire. 
we'll press and hold to release the scope button so there you go for the scope so for bag and map let's key map that open fly dj app edit so my bag is q always q click this click instant confirm put this on the bug icon save this first so open the bug interface so open again the fly dg app edit make another button again so q again for bag click this click by release confirm put this on the x mark here or the x icon here or the exit icon and let's make cursor so q again click fly mouse press and hold to turn on you can adjust the sensitivity of the cursor here confirm put this on here or anywhere you want your cursor to appear save so if we press and hold the q key for our bag that happens and you can do the inventory here and if you release the q or the bag button that happens so you can do that to bag and map so there's another way so this is the another way to key map bag and uh, map open fly dg app edit make button so now we will key map the map z so click z should choose click normal confirm put this on the map icon save and open the map interface open the fly dg app again edit so let's make another button z again so click z click normal confirm put this on the x icon here so let's make cursor for map z click z choose fly mouse click to open and sensitivity Confirm. Put this on the inside the map interface. You can put this wherever you want your cursor to appear. So save. Close the map interface. So if we press the map button once, map map interface will appear. So and if we press again the map button, map interface will disappear. So now we will key map the eye look around. To key map eye look around, open fly dg app, edit. So let's say X, click X, um, FPS mouse linkage, and this is the sensitivity of the eye look around. Confirm, put this on the eye icon to save. So if we press and hold the X or the eye look around, there you go and to keep up the marker here here's our marker so same procedure as the eye look around open fly dj app edit so it will be tab click this fps mouse linkage and this is the this will be the sensitivity confirm and put this in the marker icon save so if we press once Let's move here. so if we press twice I sense danger. so if we press and hold and move the mouse uh, I need reinforcement. see Someone's been here. so there you go for the eye look around and the marker So in order to set up no recoil, open fly DJ app, edit, left mouse click, so we have two left mouse click, open this, choose FPS, auxiliary shoot, and this will be our no recoil sensitivity. This will be the sensitivity when you look around while shooting, Firm. save, make sure that the auxiliary shoot, you should always put that at the right side of the screen auxiliary shoot always put this at the right side of the screen so save so let's try it so 
so there's too much free coins so we have to add we need to add six see there is no recoil now so just do remember different guns have different recoil sensitivity so our VXS auxiliary shoot sensitivity is 6 we change it to Jupiter 6 so we change our gun to Jupiter 6 and our auxiliary shoot level or our no recoil sensitivity is 6 let's try it here so there's still recoil on the Jupiter 6 so that's what I'm telling you that different guns and different scope has different recoil sensitivity so let's change back to VSS see there's no recoil but we, if we change back to Jupiter there's still recoil so there you go for no recoil so to enter and exit the vehicle, open Fly DG app, edit, make button, so T, click T, macro, edit, add two buttons, T1 should be on the drive and T2 should be on the get in, save. So if we press on T, there you go. So if ever there's a driver, you'll be the you will be automatically be the passenger so to get out edit make your button so it's really up to you if you want to have a different button but for me I'll use the T again and put this on the get off here here is the get off icon so save press T and you will exit the vehicle if you have encountered a problem wherein your mouse look around stop working when you exit the vehicle here's what you need to do so this is my key mapping for v vehicle exit change this to instant confirm so change this to instant so whenever you exit a vehicle you will not encounter the the mouse look around not working and also if for some reason the mouse look around is suddenly stops working so the, the solution for it is this so make the cursor appear and disappear and your mouse look around will start working again so make sure that the fly dg buttons will not overlap the interface such as this one because it will have a conflict so i'll show you the conflict so let's get this and if you move your mouse that happens that happens the mouse look around will not work so you need to so you must not overlap the fly dg button and the interface of the game such as this one so that's all for the key mapping of fly dg here in farlight 84 and i hope that you like this video and if you like this video click the like button and if you haven't subscribed Please do subscribe for more key mapping content, DIY content. And that's all. And see you in my next video. Get ready.